Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a favorites video for the month of November and I'm pretty sure everyone else is saying this but I might as well say it too. I cannot believe how fast November has flown by. I feel like this month has been like very long and also very short. Does that make any sense to you at all? Um, that's just how I've been feeling. Anyway, today's gonna be a favorites video and I have several favorites to share with you But this time I'm doing something a little bit different instead of just doing beauty favorites Which is what I tend to do a lot, you know, obviously I sort of just wanted to transition into like a more broad category of general things that I've been loving I uh, just like in terms of entertainment in terms of music um, Some skincare as well as makeup, you know, I just wanted to uh, just switch it up a bit and make it so it's not as makeup based. I just wanted to make my channel span more of my interests instead of just like makeup which is an interest but it's not my whole world. You know you know what I mean? So I'm a big music lover. I love music so much and everyone knows this. My family knows this. My sister knows this. My friends know this. And my sister especially. Every single morning, I mean, I I can't help it. I have to wake up to some really, really loud pumping music. Sometimes it's loud um, music, like really like intense. And sometimes it's just very relaxing. And it's meant to be soothing and very nice. But then other times it's supposed to be like, ah, you know, like, I, you know. Music can be very different things. That's what I just want to talk about uh, two albums, which I've really been liking. So let's just get into it. This one called... <laughs> Okay, so the first thing that I've really been liking, this is like probably the music that speaks to my soul, is from this artist called LP. In general, LP is one of my new favorite artists. She is like a, an amazing favorite of mine for this month. And my favorite album from her is actually her most recent album, and this is called Death Valley. It looks like that, and that's her album. The album only has five songs in it, which is quite unusual for any kind of album because artists usually put up a lot more songs. However, all of these songs are beautiful, amazing, stunning. My favorite song, however, is a song that I found her with, and that's called Lost On You. This is such a beautiful, beautiful track. It's amazing, and I feel that this song, out of pretty much most songs I've ever heard, this song is one of these songs that really speaks to my heart and really sort of makes me relate. Oh my god, what just happened outside? I think a car just crashed. This song is one of the songs that really makes me, um, r really relate, I guess. And when you hear the song, you might find it a little bit weird that I relate to it so much, but I just relate to it personally, like, whenever I listen to it, I'm like, oh my god, this is, like, my life, and it just sounds so weird for me to say that, but it really is, so, yeah. So this is, uh, Lost on You. It's a great song. I'll put the video down below. Amazing video. Love it. And then another, uh, album which I've really been liking is from a TV show. This is a soundtrack from a TV show, a period TV show, and if you're someone who really loves like classical sounding instrumentals and you really like that kind of music, looking at the soundtracks of period movies or TV shows is a great way to get a lot of uh, material that's really amazing, that's a little bit new, and that's tailored to sound very classical. So if you're, so if you're a fan of classical music, but I like that modern twist to it, I suggest looking at the album's uh, period TV shows and movies, and I personally really like listening to those kinds of albums because I find that they really relax me and they really make me feel good inside, and they're just amazing songs to listen to. But the one I have for today is Pole Dark. This is a TV show that I love. I've been loving this for a few months now in general. This is a great TV show about Cornwall and, uh, and about a man named Ross Pole Dark and his struggles um, in uh, England during the, the late 1700s to the early 1800s, you know, around that time period. Love this TV show. It's an amazing TV show. Highly recommend it if you're interested in that sort of thing. But this album in general is beautiful. So I think they've updated it since they released the second se season, but this one is a whole, like, this is a whole bunch of songs, like, right here. It's a pretty large album. My two favorites are these two songs called Resurgum. This is a beautiful instrumental. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, actually, too much. I'm, I don't know. And then my sp second favorite one is Metal and Gwyns. This is a beautiful song. It fe features some vocals in it, which is really quite nice. And I really like that song in general. That's it for the songs. And for TV shows, my favorite TV show for this entire month has been... Good Behavior, starring Michelle Dockery and other people, but Michelle Dockery is my favorite actress in that TV show, and she's one of my favorite actresses in general. I first saw her in Downton Abbey, same as everyone else, and I honestly never believed that she would just take the plunge and act in a role that's a completely different universe 
than what she's usually known for, okay? So she's usually known for being like a very nice, refined aristocrat living in England, but this show, Good Behavior, has her being a drug addict who's trying to find her son in the South of America, in the south, in the southern part of America where she has to do uh, several different kinds of accents. I think she does, I think it's a New England accent or an American accent, I'm not really good with my accents, but um, it's a pretty normal American accent for most of the show, but every now and then she goes into a southern accent and it's just so, so good. And I just love that TV show. In general, it's a great TV show. Check it out if you're into that like noir uh, TV shows with Bonnie and Clyde, if you like that kind of thing. It is a current TV show. It's set in the current uh, time period and I really like that show a lot. So that is it for my entertainment favorites and let's just get into skincare. So I have one thing from skincare. This is actually uh, something which I'm not sure can be found <laughs> that easily, but this uh, this is something I've been using for a while now and I just wanted to share it with you. This is in the box still. I just keep it in there for safekeeping, but this is called the Vico WSO Turmeric Skin Cream. I can't pronounce that too well. Vico, I'm not sure I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but this is pretty much how it looks like and this is my second tube. The first tube completely squeezed out, completely used up, but this is pretty much a turmeric cream. Turmeric, if you don't know, is a spice or is like a seasoning that's really amazing for helping with redness in general. A lot of people like to use turmeric masks and I like to use this cream a lot. So this is an amazing turmeric cream. I put this on overnight and it really helps with my redness if my skin is feeling irritated. I put this on and it just really works quite well. It is a pretty yellow color. I mean, do you see it's kind of like a yellowish color? I'm not sure if it's picking it up that well. This is a really nice cream. I put it on all over my face, quite a thick layer, but then I sleep in it and then I wake up and I wash my face. So that's pretty much what I've been doing or one of the things I've been doing for my skin. And I've really been liking this a lot because it really helps with redness, you know, because it has turmeric in it. So this is really nice. And it can be found at any kind of Indian store. If you have like an Indian um, grocery store near you, you can probably find this or you can find it online, I assume. I get my Indian stuff from the grocery stores. So this is from an Indian grocery store. Um, it's really good. I really like it. I have oily skin, so I really appreciate something like this. And I really do find myself using this quite a lot. Alright, next up is for makeup. So this is probably the majority of this video. I have quite a few items to share with you. Some of them are old, some of them are new, same as always. The first thing is something that I've sort of brought back. Um, this is something that I used to really like a lot uh, when I first bought it, but then I just sort of stopped using it as much. This is the Fiona Styles Matte Finish Foundation Concentrate. This is a really nice foundation if you have oily skin. If you have uh, drier skin, I guess it could suit you as well but it's a very matte foundation and for my oily skin it's an amazing foundation. I'm wearing this today and I've been wearing it for the entire day. No touch-ups and it's about 5 in the evening. I actually should be going up because I'm going to because I have a photography job but it's 5 in the evening and I've been wearing this since 7 in the morning and it's been doing a pretty good job but I just set a powder over my face and it's been holding up quite well and it's just one of those foundations that gives you like a very full looking coverage but it doesn't look heavy and it doesn't look like it's a foundation on my skin. Next I have a concealer. This is an amazing concealer. This is from the drugstore. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser Concealer. Everyone has been talking about this for ages. Everyone and their dog has been using this for ages. I just started using it this month, but this has been hyped up and I just didn't really think I needed it because I have so many concealers. I mean, I have like an entire drawer full of concealers and I just didn't really feel a need to get any more concealer. I mean, I might throw some away soon, but I just didn't feel like any dire need to get like a new concealer. But then I decided to try this and I have not been using anything else when it comes to concealer throughout this entire month. That's a great concealer if you're looking for a brightening concealer. This is not like a concealing concealer. Um, I haven't really been using it for that. I've been using it for brightening around my nose and underneath my eyes. It really works well for that. It won't work well for concealing because it's meant to be brightening. If you try and conceal with it, it will probably just draw air, draw attention to that area, which is something you don't want. But I just use this foundation. It's quite a high coverage foundation, so I don't really need to put concealer on top of any blemishes after I use this. However, this is a great brightener, especially during those times where I just have just a few hours of sleep and then I wake up and I look like 
sick and I just want something that will really brighten and like make my face look alive again. This is the first thing I reach for in the morning after this and then my skin looks so much better. It looks so much more refreshed. It looks so much more alive and naturally I haven't been able to put this down. Another face item is this contour palette from City Color. This is the Contour Effects 2 palette. Um, I have the one but this is my favorite. So this is a contour and highlighting palette. They have three colors in here. They have a contour color, bronzer color, and a highlight color. I don't really use a contour color that much. I like to use this one for contouring instead. This is a perfect color for me. It's a very beautiful um, color that's really just gives you like this amazing like natural looking contour. It doesn't really look like a contour color when you look at it in the pan. Nevertheless, when I put it on my cheeks, when I put it in my cheekbones, it makes my skin look so naturally contoured. It really does a great job of doing that. And this is a great highlight as well. If you're looking for like a very nice um, highlight, it's very smooth, very blendable, very easy to wear, this is a nice one as well. So I've really been liking to using um, these two colors. They're really nice, plus the pan size is quite generous, and this is a pretty inexpensive palette. Going down the line, I have something a little bit more expensive. This is from Estee Edit. This is their Gritty and Glow eyeshadow palette set. It's actually magnetic, which I really, really love. So you can pretty much attach them together, and you can have one side here, and you can have the other side right there. Let me just open that. Yeah, the little insert fell off. But this is a um, duo palette set. Uh, this was $58, which is $29 per palette. So I think that that's pretty worth it in my opinion. Oh my god, did this get scratched? Shit. This got scratched. Oh my god. How did this get scratched? I'm just going to keep it like this. I can't believe it got scratched. Oh my god, I don't know what happened. Oh, and this is like my favorite packaging ever. Oh, it's so beautiful and sparkly. But anyway, ugh, okay, stop thinking about that. So this is the face palette, and this has all these different colors in it. And um, this is meant for the face and eyes. So that's one side. And then my favorite one, the one that I really, really love a lot more, is this one. This is a gritty side. This has a lot more... Um, deeper and darker but still everyday friendly um, eyeshadows and I really like this for everyday. This is a really nice color just to smoke out the lash line. Uh, this is a really nice color to pop in for a highlight. In general I have been using this a lot. This is pretty much the only eyeshadow that I've been using for the entire month. I will actually want to do a review which is going to be a lot more in depth with swatches and everything. I'm just going to be going through each and every color and doing a my opinion on each and every color. So if you want to see that you can check back in a few days and I think I'll have it up then, but as of now, I haven't really filmed it. So if you want to see like my honest opinion on each and every um, color in the entire set, then you can stick around and watch that video. For now, I can tell you that I've been using these palettes all month. I haven't used anything else, and that's why I just decided to feature them in the favorites. So the holidays are already upon us, and it's basically party month, and there will be New Year's, of course, and so this is the time of year where you can get away with wearing glitter, all the time, which is of course amazing because I love glitter. I love the, I love the look of it. Even though I don't really tend to wear it a lot, you know, I just tend to wear it for special occasions. But this is a really great glitter product that I just found recently, and this is the Urban Decay Glitter Liner, and this is in the shade Midnight Cowboy. This is an ultra saturated gold um, eyeliner, gold glitter eyeliner. I love you, glitter, so much. You are my favorite, favorite, favorite. You are amazing. You shine bright like the diamonds. Last but not least, I have some lip products. The first thing I'm wearing is on my lips right now. I'm actually wearing a combination between these two liquid lipsticks. So the first one is this one. This I've been. This one is one I've been wearing pretty much every single day this past few weeks and that is because I have had a cold sore and cold sores they're no fun and I had one over the Thanksgiving holiday and I was like was praying and praying that it would be gone by by the time it came back to school and sadly that was not the case it was still there and it would still look like I had a cold sore which is not a very good thing to look like when you're in high school because it's kind of taboo you know it's just not a very it's just not a fun thing to walk around the hallways and in the and in the classrooms with a cold sore I tried it for like half an hour hated it and then I pretty much went to the bathroom and I was like okay have to do something so I looked in my bag and Lo and behold, Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Lolita was there and I was like, okay, good. 
put this on my lips and I put this on my lips and they look good. I mean, they looked so good and I'm actually wearing this on my lips right now. I'm wearing this all over my lips and they looked like normal lips, which is great because I just had a cold tour going on. I just really didn't want people to see it and something like this is really great for just really covering that stuff up and what's great and amazing about this is that this did not irritate my cold sore at all, which is amazing because I tried to put on some lip balm on top, some like lip products and and for some reason like my lip was just, was just like really irritated by that but this I put on and was like nothing. It just felt like I was wearing nothing on my lips and in general I love this look with lipstick a lot and, and in general I love this product a lot but now that I've experienced it with a cold sore, I worship it. So I just wanted to show what I did to my lips today. So as I said before, I put this all over my entire lip and then on top of that, just in the center part of my lip, I put a little bit of this Smashbox liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Stepping Out. Um, I believe I've talked about this before, but in general, this is a great liquid lipstick. It's very, very creamy, ultra-saturated, ultra doesn't dry out your lips. It's just a really nice nude color, especially with the Lolita because it just gives like this very subtle, full lip effect, which of course, I like. So that is pretty much the end of this video. It's getting dark out, I know. So I have to go now to my photography job. But that is the end of this video. Those are pretty much all my favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. And hopefully I'll be seeing you again in another video. Bye guys.